On this episode of UTR, we're back in awesome Ypsilanti for a tantalizing trip down memory lane. Traffic lane, that is, because we're driving in style to four classic Ipsy drive-ins. We'll taste Gabriel's steak and cheese and give Roy's in a squeeze. Then we'll get a dog at Bill's and even truck over to Cluck's. Get ready to explore all the savory selections that make Ipsy such a great place to drive in dine. 14 clubs. That's what they tell us a legal golf bag can hold. And while that leaves a little room for balls and tees, it doesn't leave room for much else. There's no room left for deadlines or conference calls, not a single pocket to hold the stress of the day or the to-do list of tomorrow. Only 14 clubs. Pick out the right one and drive it right down the middle of Pure Michigan. Your golf trip begins at Michigan.org. The Michigan Economic Development Corporation is dedicated to enabling economic prosperity. The MEDC markets Michigan with a focus on growing businesses and building resilient communities in our state. A visit to the Stalls Auto Collection will take you back to a time when cars were more than just a way to get around. A fantastic assortment of gas pumps, neon signs, and automated music machines dating back 150 years that must be seen and heard. Info at stallsauto.com. I've been around the world, but there's one place I keep coming back to. And the more I explore, the more I realize it's the place to be. I'm Tom Dalton, and this is Under the Radar, Michigan. Now, if you watch this show, you know that we drive a lot. And we also eat a lot, too. So we decided to combine those two in this episode. And the best place to do that is Ypsilanti. That's because Ypsilanti has more cool, classic, retro, throwback drive-ins and drive-up style diners than you can shake a Fonzie at. So we're going to tool around Ipsy Town with the top down and do some delicious drive-in dining. But first, a brief reminder of where Jan Ipsy is. Excellent Ypsilanti is the proud home of Eastern Michigan University and tons of cool, comfortable people. And it's located in southeast lower Michigan, just a stone's throw east of awesome Ann Arbor. Now, when you're dining at classic drive-in restaurants, it pays to do it in style. And since I don't really have any, I thought I'd better go get some help. And when I talk about help, I'm talking about Patty Bloom from the Ypsilanti Automotive Heritage Museum. And when I talk about style, I'm talking about a classic mint 1969 forest green Corvair convertible. It's one of only 520 that were made right here in Ypsilanti. Now, Patty, before I borrow your righteous ride, <laughs> thank you very much, by the way. You're welcome. Um, tell me a little bit about this amazing museum. It's right here in Ypsilanti, correct? Yes, it is. This room here used to be a um, unemployment office and... Um, <laughs> perfect, guys. Yeah, perfect. An unemployment office and a post office. Yeah. And um, back in the mid early 90s, Peter Fletcher and Skip Ungro and Jack Miller um, got together and they created a museum. Well, I read this was also used to be a Hudson dealership. Oh, the old side where the building that's over 100 years old. That was a Dodge dealership, a Willys Overland dealership, a Hudson dealership. In the meantime, there was a couple of other little manufacturing companies in there. They made little heaters. We have, a, actually, we have a little heater in the other room in there. Yeah, so it's got a lot of history. Now, the car you're letting us take today, thank you so much, by you're the welcome. way. It's a classic 1969 Forest Green Corvair, correct? Yes. Yes. And it's also a stick shift, yes. which should be an interesting thing because I haven't driven a stick shift in 30 years, <laughs> so that should be interesting. Yeah. Well, thanks for letting us take it for the day, and uh, I, I'd like to talk more, but I've got some driving, dining to do, so oh, I will see you. you will have fun. I will see you later. I'm jealous. <laughs> I'll need the keys. Oh, yeah, let me go get those. <laughs> Well, thanks to Patty and the Ypsilanti Automotive Heritage Museum, I was now styling and ready to rock the road. But first, a quick refresher in how the heck to handle a stick. Boy, the interior of this car is amazing. It clashes with your shirt, though. Oh, but yeah, other yeah. than that, now why are there three pedals? Oh, that's right, it's a stick. <laughs> that's right, that's, that's right. why. All right, 
So, okay, it's been a while. Please make sure you yeah. push in the clutch before you. Right, and this is a, is this an eight speed or what is, is this? No. no, it's just a, is it your classic H? Your, yes. Uh, like the four H. Yes. Okay. H, yeah. I mean, which means H for I hope I don't grind the gears too much. Okay. I hope you don't either. <laughs> so it's so it's pressing the clutch in first gear, let up clutch, foot off the gas. Yeah. Then on the I mean off the brake on the gas. Do I, is okay. that right? All right. So you push in the clutch. Push in the clutch. I, well, and you have your foot on the brake. Foot on the brake. And turn on the key. Turn on the key. Yeah. And then as you um, put it into gear, right. And then as you um, let your foot off the brake, yeah. And put it on the accelerator, and okay. as you're accelerating, you're also letting out the clutch, and you'll go. Got it. What could go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> so with gears properly engaged, I wrangled my ride, stepped on the gas, and headed out to halt my hunger. Ah, there I was, driving down the road with the wind blowing through my hat, and everybody admiring my new wheels, when before I knew it, I pulled into a place that was sure to please because of their steak and cheese. Welcome to Gabriel's Cheesesteak Hoagies, where you can get one heck of a good fish sandwich. I'm just kidding, they serve cheesesteak hoagies. Yep, since way back in 1959, people have been coming here for one thing and one thing only, or two if you've got the room award-winning cheesesteak hoagies. They're big, bona fide, and not from Philadelphia. They're from right here in Ipsy. And since I'm the guy that's gonna be taking them, I thought I'd best talk to the guy who's gonna be making them, Donnie Ballard. Okay, Donnie, first question is, who's Gabriel? Al Gabriel was a, uh, he was a uh, Air Force cook, and he was stationed in Ypsilanti, and he was from the Philadelphia area, and he, uh, Realized that there was no sandwiches around here, and he wanted to bring the hoagies to Ipsy. Now, I'll be honest, I've never had a cheesesteak sandwich before. This is my first time. But, what, I mean, what is what is the secret behind Because people, once they start eating these, I mean, they're, you're hooked. Yeah. So our, our thin sliced ribeye is marinated with our special um, flavor. And, you know, our draw is the thin sliced ribeye, the flavor of the ribeye. It's not like, um, you know, no special sauce that we put on top. Um, it's our flavor of our steak is our secret. Well, how far do people come for your, because I hear people talk about this place all over the state. So, I mean, it's not, it's not just locals coming here, right? Right, they come far. We've been here since 1959. Um, our main um, sub, or hoagie is our uh, cheesesteak. So, you know, they come from far and to, to be here for 62 years and only have three hoagies on your uh, menu, you know, it says a lot. Yeah, you know, I've always said, do one or two things and do, it, do them well. Don't branch off, don't start serving nachos, and you know, do, do one thing well, and you guys do hoagies, great. You've got three different ones, what do you have? So we have a cheesesteak hoagie, we also have a lunch meat special, which is like of our cold Italian. Mm -hmm. We also have a ham and cheese sub, um, and that's the three hoagies that we have. What do you love about this community? I love everything. I love that there's, it's such a d diverse community and everybody comes in here is just, you know, they're all excited because they, you know, when they come in there, I find, you know, I'm at Gabriel's and they just seem very happy and they leave happy and just to see all the good reviews that we get from here, it just, it just makes me happy. So tell me honestly, when we leave here, our, our clothes are going to smell like onions, right? Oh, definitely. I said a lot of people come in and they say, you know, I got to get one for my wife because as soon as I get home, She's gonna smell me while I was at Gabriel's. You know, you were cheating on me. You went to Gabriel's without me. Exactly. So they always get an extra one for the wife. <laughs> and this building is so little. It's like you ever use it in the winter for like uh, for like ice fishing or? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> no, we're year round uh, serving hoagies every day, keeping Ipsy happy. How's your fish sandwich? <laughs> right. <laughs> You know, I love the vibe at this modest and humble place. And I'm not gonna lie, my cheesesteak sandwich was as good as it was filling. So if quality, convenience, and value smothered in American cheese and onions is something that makes your mouth water, hop in your righteous ride and run over to Gabriel's Cheesesteak Hoagies. Cause this diner is worth the drive. Well, once again, me and my classic 1969 Corvair convertible rolled on down the road. I'm telling you, half the fun of driving a car like this 
is the adulation you get from fellow auto admirers. I felt like I was in some sort of a hip parade. And for a fleeting moment, I kind of felt like Steve McQueen. Only not as handsome and still alive. Anyway, I was cruising down the road when suddenly I tucked into a funky little round diner that's rumored to have some awesome eatables. That's right, Roy's Squeeze Inn offers award-winning burgers topped with some pretty authentic ambiance. But what's on my mind is Roy's Big Squeeze with cheese. Yes, please. So I parked my ride, I mean Patty's ride, went inside and got the scoop from Jerry Lynn. This place is so darn cute well, that you. when you drive by, you can't help but stop. It's a little round building, and then you've got a little round counter. Yeah. And I've got my little round tummy here waiting because <laughs> I'm hungry. Yeah. Um, what, now, you guys specialize in, it's your burger, right? That it's people, our burger. Because I've heard people talk about it. Burger and barbecue pork. Both? Yes. Like I'm in heaven, oh my gosh. We um, grind and patty our own meat daily. Um, also, we have a special seasoning that we use on our burgers that nobody else has. Um, Secret sauce. Copy, copy written to us. Um, everything is, is fresh. Right? Uh, no, absolutely not. <laughs> um, everything is fresh. Lettuce, tomatoes, onions. Nothing is ever bagged. We do all the hard work ourselves here. Um, how far do people come to have your burgers? Oh gosh, they come from all over. We, we particularly have a group of people that come. Um, all the way from Traverse City down here, they call ahead of time and let us know they're coming. They normally fill this whole entire counter with people from Traverse City. Um, that's not the far that farthest people have traveled. Um, people hear about us and come in, you know, especially foodie people, um, come in and hear about us. And we've had people from California and Florida that have heard about us and just come in. Well, so I should try the burger. Now you've got. The big squeeze with cheese? We do. That's going to be a half pound burger. And then it's going to have onions, cheese, lettuce, tomato, and mayo, and our seasoning. Th that's a secret. That's yeah. a secret, yeah. And then we also have the other big seller here is going to be the barbecue pork. It is a smoked pork butt that we smoke in house 16 hours. Then we pull it apart ourselves. We top it with our homemade barbecue sauce, which is also a secret that I can't tell and our homemade coleslaw. This sounds awfully gourmet for a little place like this at the side of the road, but obviously that's your secret and that's your magic and that's what brings people here so much. So, so I'll have, um, I want the pulled pork and I want the big squeeze with cheese, please. The big cheese, the barbecue pork, and the coleslaw. Deal. You want any fries or anything? We have regular wedges, seasoned wedges, curly fries, onion rings, or mushrooms. Guys, fries. Go one of each, please. One of each? <laughs> the variety pack. All righty. Yep, Roy's Squeeze In was round, ipsy real, and totally down to earth. It's also cash only, so bring some green. I ate, made new friends, told stories, and filled up on some of the tastiest burgers and pulled pork you can possibly purchase. If you're looking for some simple satisfaction, slide into Roy's Squeeze In. It's dinerlicious. Well, with meal number two in my tummy, I put my classic Corvair in drive, cranked up the tunes, and trucked over to my next eatable adventure. And in the blink of an eye, because it's right across the street, I pulled into Bill's Hot Dog Stand and Drive-In on East Michigan Avenue. It's seasonal, but was still open for me to sample. Now, some people call this little mustard-colored building with the crooked sign endearingly odd, but I call it eclectic diner done right. So I put her in park and commenced to making my order. Can I help you, sir? Oh, yes, um, I don't, can I see a menu? I don't see a menu. Oh, we don't actually have a menu, sir. You don't have menus here? Yeah, no, it's just hot dogs. Well, can I? See the manager, I'm confused. Yeah, no problem, I'll go get him for And you just know. so you know, your R's crooked. Oh, yes, yeah, signature yeah. for us. Oh, Everyone okay. Loves it. okay. <laughs> I didn't know. Well, with no menu to meander, and everyone else there knowing exactly what to do, I thought I'd find out what I didn't know from Jim Doe. Okay, let me get this straight. You're not Bill, you're Jim, and you guys don't have menus? That's correct. Well, before we even get to that, I have to tell you, I'm really impressed with this place. As soon as you pull in, a really nice young gentleman comes up immediately to the car, calls me sir, asks me what I want. I mean, 
you don't get that kind of service much anymore. Yeah, that's true. That's why we try to make it like a family atmosphere here. Yeah. Uh, very friendly, once you feel comfortable, once you keep coming back. Yeah, I mean, the parking lot's perfect. That is the cutest little building I ever saw. Do you like fold that up at night and take it home with you or? Uh, yeah, you probably could. But I, <laughs> it actually started in 1939 and all they had was the front half of it. Yeah. And then they got busier and added on the back half. Well, who was Bill? Um, I never got to meet Bill. He's uh, a little younger than that, but. <laughs> um, but I think he'd be uh, pretty proud of what we've done with the place. Right. Yeah. And you guys don't have menus because it's just, because people, it's an icon. People probably all know about this place who live around here, right? Yeah, and it's a simple menu. We have the homemade chili dogs, right. uh, homemade root beer, a couple of Pepsi products, and chips for side items. Yeah. So we keep it simple and easy. That's my philosophy. You do a couple things really well and become known for those things and it just makes like life simpler and then you do a good job. Yeah, yeah. It's like, so you guys make your own root beer? Yep, every day. Every morning we come in, make the homemade chili and homemade root beer. So when you come in, you get the same product every day. It's always right. fresh. Right, wow, where'd you learn to make root beer? I'd always wanted to make my own root beer. Yeah, um, well they had the recipe when, when I started here. So. Oh, so it's, it's an it's old, just, old recipe. Yeah, yep. okay. We kept everything the same. Yeah, I mean, is, is that mustard yellow? Um, it's safety yellow. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, how long have you lived in Ipsy? Uh, I've been here since 79. Since 79? Yep. What do you love about the area? Um, I'd say the people. Yeah, there's a lot of good people around here. My family all lives here. And, um, you know, I started off here in 1994 as a car hop, just as a summer job. Really? Yeah, and then I worked my way up to being a manager in the 2000s, and then was able to get a piece of it um, a little bit later. I'm, I'm proud of you, Jim. I mean, that's awesome. Yeah, that's American awesome. dream, huh? Yeah, well, it is. We've, I met so many people doing this show who started at a place, and some of them moved away or whatever, and they ended up coming back because they love it, because it's, it's your roots. That's where you're from, your yeah. family's there, and they end up owning or running the places that they started their first job at. Yeah. So, yeah, that's commendable. That's cool. Yeah. So, so, it's like, like you said, it's, it's a mystery. You pull in here, somebody comes up, asks you what you want. You don't, you're not even sure what it is yet, but so I should get a Coney dog. Yeah, definitely. Coney Chili onion mustard are um, specialties around here. Okay, and then you got fries? Uh, just get... plain ruffled chips for side ruffled items. Chips. Okay, yeah. and then your homemade root beer. Yes, sir. Okay, I'm a root beer aficionado, so I'll let you know what I think. All right, you put us to the test. Okay, I think I like it. <laughs> I like everything. <laughs> <laughs> yep. This little cash-only place is part drive-in, part hot dog stand, and all right in my book. It has a funky, cool feel that I swear makes the dogs taste even better. Because, you know, sometimes the best food comes from the most unlikeliest of places. So I would definitely place Bill's hot dog stand and drive-in on your drive-in diner bucket of fries list. It's a pure Michigan tiny treasure. Well, my Ipsy drive-in odyssey continued with even more gratuitous driving shots of yours truly. Yep, I was having a blast and I didn't care who knew it. So with three diners and the top still down, I drove across town to Classic Clucks Drive-In for yet another bite and a conversation with... Wait a minute, this lady looks familiar. You look awfully familiar. Didn't I just talk to you yesterday? Yes, sir, you did. <laughs> Wait a minute, so you work here too? I do. How does that even happen? He owns two restaurants and I am the manager of both restaurants. Oh, so you can tell me, you can fill me in on a Cluck's also too as well. So a gentleman named Albert Cluck in 1948 opened up this restaurant. It started out as a little tiny shack right here on Michigan Avenue on the corner until he made enough money to build this whole entire building and set up that you see today. Yeah, this is like classic drive-in diner. This is awesome. It is, it is so much fun to be here and work here. And you, where you pull up, you order through the little speaker and then the car hop brings out your food. So what kind of food should I order here? Because it looks like from the menu you've got, it's like the classic cornucopia of, you know, drive-in food. So what are you guys known for? It is, we are known here for our chili recipe and our chili is not your normal, typical type of chili. It's more of an Italian style chili con carne, which is like a sweet and spicy 
sloppy dough Joe type of chili on yeah. top of a nice crisp hot dog with the mustard and onions on top of it as well. So you guys are famous for your chili. You got great root beer. I'm looking at the menu. That's what I love about it. You just pull up and the menu's right in front of you. And then you talk to a little voice in a little box and then they bring you food. It's like, it's, it's so American. <laughs> it is very American. So you obviously, you work at two of these classic places. What do you love about what you do? And what do you love about Ypsilanti? I love being here because it is such an iconic place to be. It's been here and been a part of my life for a very long time. I also care, we have some great customer base here. I love the customer service we give here. Also, I love it here because I get a chance and an opportunity in the spring and summer to hire these local young women and you know gentlemen to come in and try their first job and you know kind of get them started in the community and then just the community outreach in general. I'll need your advice. What should I order? If I'm going to have the classic meal here, what should I get? Have I bring would me out. say if you're going to if you're going to try for the first time, I would do definitely a chili dog. Chili dog? Um, our cheesesteak hoagies are phenomenal. We have a club sandwich that's phenomenal. Well, I can't eat all of I it, so maybe you just if you that. could just so like so, I would say a chili dog and try our crinkle fries and try our root beer. Deal. Okay, I'm going to order it right now. Okay, you've got it. Except I got to turn the car around because the speaker's on your side. <laughs> I had a throwback blast at Classic Clucks, and the staff, a.k.a. Jerry Lynn, was fast and very friendly. And keep in mind, Clucks is cash only as well, so you'll want to bring some bucks. Press the button. I've, I've perused the menu. There we go. Thank you for choosing Clucks. Just as a reminder, it's cash only. How can I help you? Oh, hi. Um, I was told by Jerry Lynn that, wait a minute, is this Jerry Lynn? It is. You're everywhere. I was told by you. Uh, that I would like to have a uh, chili dog, and I'd like some of your curly fries, and I want uh, a frosty mug of root beer, please. Anything else for you? That's it. All right, I'll have it out in just a few minutes. Thanks, Jerry Lynn. You're very welcome. She's everywhere. My favorite was, well, the entire menu. They have everything you'd expect and more, not to mention the special secret spice they put in their coney chili. I tell you what it is, but Jerry Lynn said I might have to wash dishes then. And believe it or not, I ate everything without getting a single drop on this classic car's interior, as far as you know. So next time you want an excellent UTR-type eating adventure, venture toward Ypsilanti and sample their authentic drive-in diners. Who knows, between all that awesome eating, you just might discover all the cool people, places, and things there are to do in these parts. Now, if you excuse me, I gotta get this thing to a car wash. Hopefully one that offers upholstery cleaning. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, there's one. Hey everybody, I'm really excited because we have a brand new web series called Michigan Road Trip Adventures where you can see cool people, places and things that you can't even see on the TV show. Take a look. Now if you're looking for paradise, if you live in Michigan, you can rest easy. Ah, but if you're looking for paradise within paradise, I think we found it. You don't get bored around here. You come here every day and it doesn't feel like work. It's so much fun. Well, this place is surrounded by so much natural beauty. You're right adjacent to Traverse City with all the shopping and the restaurants. So we're close enough to town where you can go up the peninsula and check out all the wineries. And we'll, we'll do a lot of that for you too with our guest services here. So we'll have the vans come pick you up right from the resort, take you out there. To the wineries? Yeah, experience the wineries. Then we can taste lots of then wine. You, you can do it really <laughs> safely and get a full experience. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> and the golf here is world class. It is. And a lot of people sometimes forget we have three golf courses yeah. here. 54 holes of championship golf, a stellar view. I mean, it's stuff you just, you don't get sick of this, right? Going around this property any time of the year too. Summer, fall, winter, it's gorgeous. So if you wanna see more cool stuff like that, come join us at utrmichigan.com. That's utrmichigan.com and pack your bags. 
14 clubs. That's what they tell us a legal golf bag can hold. And while that leaves a little room for balls and tees, it doesn't leave room for much else. There's no room left for deadlines or conference calls, not a single pocket to hold the stress of the day or the to-do list of tomorrow. Only 14 clubs. Pick out the right one and drive it right down the middle of Pure Michigan. Your golf trip begins at Michigan.org. The Michigan Economic Development Corporation is dedicated to enabling economic prosperity. The MEDC markets Michigan with a focus on growing businesses and building resilient communities in our state. A visit to the Stalls Auto Collection will take you back to a time when cars were more than just a way to get around. A fantastic assortment of gas pumps, neon signs, and automated music machines dating back 150 years that must be seen and heard. Info at stallsauto.com. 